ago, my wife uh, was feeling a little left out. He was having all the fun cutting all those trees while I pulled them. Yank it apart. Do it again. Keep your foot on it. Watch out, watch out. Here we go. Ready. Ready. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jock. And I'm Tony. We're the Calicuts, and this is... <laughs> Calicuts Go Country. Today, we will be talking about our latest yes, addition to our ranch family. We have been adding more and more equipment and tools into our as ranch needed. as we continue to develop our property. We thought about it for a long time, yeah. consulted some friends actually, yeah. read a lot of yeah. reviews, yeah. talked to different salespeople, yeah. stores, YouTube yes. DIYers. You can always hear one name one that's name. always being mentioned right. in the top, of, top one or yeah. two that's all right. the time. And that's the Hasvarna. Hasvarna Chainsaw. So babe, tell us about what you have here. Well, the last time we spoke about my Hasvarna 455 Rancher, everything about it is great. It's easy to repair if the chain comes off right back in the business. Heck, it's so easy, my wife could do it. I can use it, but she did. But my arms were kind of shaking already, it was heavy. I can probably do it like a short period of time, but not like cutting a lot of trees because that was really heavy on my arm. But I really want to help cut trees. That's true, that's true. So my wife uh, was feeling a little left out because I was having all the fun. He was having all the fun cutting all those trees while I pulled them. <laughs> and that was fun too. I love helping him with that. But I want to get into the action also of cutting the trees. I was feeling a bit left no, out. No, she was really feeling left out. <laughs> a bit <laughs> left out. So we decided to get her her own Aspana chainsaw. We got her the 120. You know what? I'm going to let her tell you about her chainsaw. It's 14 inch versus his 20 inch bar. You got 55.5 cc and this one is 38.2. So it's, it's lighter for me. It's only 10.7 pounds. This is 13.5. Eight pounds. Still powerful. You know, still good. But what's your horsepower? It's 3.5. 3.5 horsepower? Yes. Mine is 1.9 horsepower. But still powerful. It's for light usage. And then that one is really for, for heavy ranch work. So let's unbox this let's one. Unbox it. I want to use it already. Okay. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not too big, not too small. So it comes with the oil. Oil? No, that's the fuel. Oh. It doesn't come pre-mixed. This right here, you mix it with a gallon of gas. But oh. what we did was we bought it ready to go where we didn't have to do any mixing. Ready. It's pre-mixed, pre ready to go. Right? This yes, pre-mixed, ready pre to go. And it comes also with a tool like this. Before we take this off, we're going to go ahead and put fuel and oil in it. So this where's the fuel? Fuel this goes one, here. Yeah. This Chain. is the fuel. That's the fuel. I just turn. Twist it. Fuel first? Yes, fuel first. We don't have a funnel. We don't have a funnel for it. Let me assist you with it. How do I do that? Okay. One thing we need to be prepared for next time is a funnel. We're going to put bar chain oil in right here. So this one has a, a chain link and then also like a drop of oil symbol there. That's what chain oil. That's right. That's smart. And that's ready to go. Now, the next thing you need to do, dear, is you need to primer this. Pump it five times. So pump it okay. five times. Like just push it in? Yeah, push it in five times. Oh, that's, Use your that's thumb. hard. Hold okay. uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. See Ooh, that? I Build up. Oh! It's like a liquid inside. Now, the next it's thing like we're going to do. Like it sucks it in. The blue tab here, pull it out. That's your choke. Pull it, pull it out. Pull it out. There you go. That's good. Now, we're going to set this on the ground. Okay, now let me try it. Ah, it's not pulling it. Okay, nope, now let it back. Nope. Okay, so the choke was out. Choke has got to be all the way out. Okay. All right, hold, stop, stop what you're doing. Put your foot on it again. 
Now pull this until it stops. Don't pull it, don't try to pull it fast. Just pull it until, just regular. Pull it slowly. Stop there. Wait, let me show you. Let what? it go, let it go. Now, I'm pulling the slack out, okay? And I'm gonna pull it hard. See how the slack? You gotta pull it down. Maybe there's something wrong with that. Again. Okay, now you try. This should start okay. up for you right away. Put your foot on the handle, like, okay. like that thing. Pull, that, pull out the choke. Uh huh. Pull out the choke. Okay, it's out. Uh huh. Put the Put foot in there. Uh -huh. yeah. Then pull. Then pull your chain. Pull your rope slowly. Slowly pull it up, just so you give you some room, so you can yank it out. One more. Good. Then close the choke. Yeah, close the choke. Gotta be fast. Yeah. Right, let, me, let me let me get it started for you. Look, I need to know how to start this. Okay. Let's see, I got it here. Okay, that's my problem. Now I need to be able to turn yes. this on. Yes. So pull it out. Pull it out about a little bit. Now yank it. Yank it hard. Do it again. Keep your foot on it. Ah, oh God. That's how you start doing it. Almost. Okay, don't let... Now, look. What? You get it right here. You get it right here. Mm -hmm. Try try to touch the sky. Don't, don't let it hesitate. Try to touch the sky with your elbow. Fast. Yeah, like that. Yeah. What you trying to spin that engine over? I'm not doing it, right? It's got it's to be faster. Here. This is not doing well for me. So, see what, I, see, what I did, see what I did here? I locked it in my knees. Okay. You can do that. You okay. grab it here and then you yank it. Okay, okay try that. Strong, left hand holding the handle. Left hand holding the handle. That's your dominant hand there. Oh my God. Yeah. It's not doing it. Need to have good arm strength. Right now, I have to just admit, I, I just can't. So I need to probably get used to pulling that. Yes. Okay. engaged so we need to engage this okay. let's start it up again see for this to come off you're gonna have to hold your hand to the side okay ah, that I, did not do, I did not hear the click okay yes. let's do it again Yeah, try that. All right, that's good. Don't let your blade stop on the tree. Okay. When you're cutting, keep your finger on the on the on the trigger. Okay. Keep it going. It's off now. How do I turn it on? It shut itself off. So like this. Uh huh. Got to pull all the way through. Now, when cutting, you cut all the way through, keep your finger on the gas, pull the, pull the chainsaw out. That's when you take your finger off the gas, okay? I did not understand what you said earlier. Okay. When cutting, you don't take your finger off the off the saw speed. Keep doing it. You keep it going full speed. Once you cut through and you pull your saw off, that's, that's, when, I, that's when you let it. Oh, your, so even after I cut, just, just let it? Yeah, let it rev up high, okay. run fast, 
And, and when then, you pull the saw out, then you take your finger and off. And that, like, trigger. stop when I when I saw the tree cut down, no. uh, fall down, I stop it and it was it's okay. okay. No, because what, what it does is it trap your blade on the tree. Okay, that's what happened there. Yeah. Okay. All right. One, I don't know how to turn this on, so Jack would have to help me until I get used to it. Second, I need to make sure I put my hand on the side so that when I remove the brake, and be careful because it already spins. I don't know why, that, why does it spin? It, it, they spin. Remove the chainsaw from the tree, then you can take your finger off the trigger. Yeah, because earlier it got stuck there. Yes, and what you could do if, if that happens too many times, you could ruin the chain. Right. Don't remove your finger off the trigger until you completely cut or finish cutting and pull your chainsaw out. When you pull right. your chainsaw out, then take your finger off the trigger. Now, okay. what I can tell you is that it is lighter. I mean, those that extra three pounds really makes a difference, but it does. it's shorter, so I'm not like leaning too much or, or it making me fall over. So my center of gravity does not move too much forward. I like this one, but I need to learn how to turn this on. Yes. The next thing we're gonna have to do is put on our is chaps. Put on our chaps, our safety gear, so that we can start Cutting. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yes. We are ready for cutting. We got our chaps and our gloves. How about you? Yes, my chaps and my gloves. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, ready. Ready. Our ready. mission today. You see all those trees that are looking brown next to our cabin. There's like five of them there Thank and a couple at the back. We need to remove all of those because sooner or later they will come fall, down. come down like the other trees that have fallen. Before that falls on our cabin, we need to remove that. Like what we discussed in the previous video, we initially thought of moving that cabin into Another space. our clearing. Yes. Why do we need to move the cabin? Let's just remove the trees. Yes. And so Jack was like, you know what, baby? I think we can do this. I was very skeptical. Before. I don't know how to cut trees. So, but when we did one and two and three, and we just got more confident and more, more confident. Yes. And that's when I said, you know what, let's do it. Cause we started cutting a lot of trees there already for us to move the cabin to. Yes. I was very sad cause now we have to stop. <laughs> we have to find somebody to move that cabin. We have to pay someone to do that. That's an additional cost, an additional cost. that we could have put into oh, that yes. but since we bought our saw anyway we yes. said you know what we have a really nice saw here why are we not using it to cut and trees? now we have two that's right and so we're gonna cut that but before we get to cutting the big ones we need to clear out a little bit there at the bottom you're gonna replace the fall now once we have a better view of where we can let the trees fall then then it will be game on because now we know okay we can let the trees fall this way or that way or the other way. A lot of you are probably gonna say, well, why didn't you guys just hire somebody to professionally cut those trees? We were being coated ridiculous Ridiculous amount. prices, yes. Like for five trees from six, eight hundred to a thousand dollars estimate. That's just a rough estimate. Rough estimate. Lower. And then they said that they're gonna have to bring some equipment here, a boon, a mm. crane and all that. We have a large open space. I mean, we do. So you know what, wish us luck. We're going to start cutting. So we're going to walk towards the area where we're going to start cutting. As you all know, this is our walkway. So Jack and I already cut some of those trees right there. You can see we cut that, we cut a couple, um, we cut another one right there. But we need to cut all of those that have pink ties to it. And we also need to cut this area, clear out this area. This is the area we're going to be cleaning up right now. After that, then we're going to cut this tree, this tree, those five there. And then also we're going to cut the one behind the cabin. I don't know if you guys can see that one right there. All that we're going to cut. 
I think we're also going to cut a few more here. So a lot of trees to cut today, but that's okay. So these are the trees that we cut the last time we were here. The next thing we're going to cut are the trees on the other side of the cabin. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 trees that we're going to be cutting at least. Let's see if we need to cut more, but for now, I know those 15 have to go. We're going to clear this out. Yes. And so we are now going to start cutting. It's cutting time. Wish us luck. <laughs> We cleared some already, and it's, it's we're starting to see an opening now because on that side, you know, we need to be able to to drop these trees. But at the same time, we are clearing out for our outhouse on that side, and then we are actually adding a workshop near the cabin. Because right now, when it's raining, we really have limited place for us to work on some projects we can work inside the workshop so we can continue to work even if it's too sunny or rainy okay so we're gonna clear out some more of this I'm gonna start measuring it because our workshop shed is 10 by 12 and so it's going to start here let me pull these out get out of your way watch out for the vines okay I'm gonna have to pull this one down, so I need you to step back for me, okay? That's what Josh is talking about, this one here. That he's pulling. Okay. See, it's, it's opening up, huh? But still more. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it's just hanging. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Here we go. So much, some of it swung on top of the shit. Really? So, we're turning and putting the workshop here facing this way this is our walkway we're going to face it here because right in front here we're going to put like an awning in front of it we can continue working here where we don't need to be worried about getting wet or the sun hitting us too much we would have to cut those trees if we want to do that so we cut this Yes, that one needs to go. We cut that. Uh-huh. We cut this. Yes. Then that would now become the spot for the yes. workshop. A little bit choppy corner. Uh-huh. And then the uh-huh over there. And then the outhouse would be further back. We're gonna cut that. Yes. Alright, right, let me get my saw. We're gonna cut this. Uh-huh. This. 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 And all of that there. Okay, I'm going to start it up now. And also this one here, babe. Yeah. It's going to be exciting here. Yes, it is. Good deal. Good job. And it didn't hurt the tree. No. That's a big tree. <laughs> okay. Good job, baby. Thank you. All right, we're going to pull all of this now. So now it's opening up some more. That's what we want to happen. All right, we're not going to pull this by hand. It's too heavy. Okay. It's Coleman time. That's when Jack needs me now. I need you all the time. Won't <laughs> okay. To the rescue. I'm going to tie the Coleman to this. 
You're gonna back up and I'm gonna stand on the tree on that end. You're gonna ride it? I'm gonna ride it like a bull. Let me get my temporary sling over here. So Jeff is tying up the tree right there to the rope. He's attaching a rope to the winch. And I'm gonna back up for a little bit. I'm gonna back up for a little bit, okay? Not yet? Not yet, he said. So Jack's going to tie the tree. It's going to be pulled towards me. I'm gonna pull it. He's going to touch that rope to the winch. I am going to back up and then pull the winch and then pull the tree all the way back. That's the plan. Okay, babe, back up. Back up? Okay. Uh -huh. That was a lot of fun. We got the tree moved using the Coleman. And so now we're gonna be clearing some more. Here's the plan. One, two, three. This will be cut. Yes. We're so, probably gonna end up cutting this one. We'll see. Because once we clear it out, we'll see if it has some We'll see if it's dying also. But I know for sure this tree 
needs to be because they look like they're dying there. And yep. we did this space for the workshop. Yep. It's going to be looking this way. Oh. We, we're going to clean this one Yeah, we're going to clean that out. And then clean that out. Clean that, clean that out back there. That tree there, is that healthy? Do you want to keep it? We might just might take it down. Take it down because if we want to do like a shower or something. Yeah, it's going to be We, we want to be able to maneuver that around. We want to be able to construct things there yes. this year. So okay. three, four, and then this five here plus the ones at the back and then there. Yes. All right. So first we're going to have to remove this and then clear it out. Yep. Clear it some more. Okay. out of breath there's tiny trees but hey it's my first time to like really handle it by myself okay but Jack was really very helpful because every time I cut it he would pull it so that it would fall where it needs to fall so I was just focusing on what I needed to do which is to cut so you can see it's now opening up right what do you guys think huh? not bad for any First timer. <laughs> what do you think, baby? You did good, baby. I hope I'm not slowing the job no. down. Oh no. Am I slowing you down? Not at all, baby. The more you do with that little one, the more it gets. I know he's in. being indulgent right now. Just trying to let oh, no. me have fun. Oh but... no, I don't mind at all. <laughs> have some fun. Behind the tree once we cut that, if we clear that out, we're gonna have a whole big space over here. Uh-huh. I think that's what we need to do. Yeah. Cut this big tree right there. Let Cut me, behind it. Let me go and put the grapple on the, and just grab all those at one time and drag and bring it out again. Actually, babe, this one here at the front, uh -huh. we can cut it. We can drop it over here. Yeah, yeah, we can. And then that one, drop it also. We can drop it actually right here. And then grapple. This tree actually, we can drop it too. Yep. You know? Uh huh. So what do you think, babe? I think it's, it's, it's so, shaping up, baby. That big tree right there, we're gonna cut that. Yep. Cut the tree behind it. Well, once we clear this out, yeah, we, this, let him fall we can just let him fall. Yeah, that's what we'll Jack's do. Jack's going to get prepare also the Kubota with a grapple so that once we cut all of this, then he's going to use the grapple to just grab this and then position it over to the other side. 